What's going on, guys? Let's talk about uh, mRNA. Moderna. Moderna has been on fire. I mean, how long has it been now? Let's go back to the daily chart here. Let's see. You know, when did this really break out? We broke out here around this 243, 245 area, the uh, beginning of July. So, you know, Moderna has been going on like a month long run. Uh, guys, before I get into this video, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers. Also drop me a like, uh, my discord is down in the link below as well as my website, but this stock has just been on fire, right? Okay. So why is it on fire? We got uh, Delta variant, uh, concerns, um, a lot of concerns in the nation about maybe there's a potential shutdown. Uh, do we need, uh, booster shots? Um, you know, case numbers are increasing the most since this time last year, so forth and so forth. The stock has just been on a tear. They drive it up higher and higher and higher. And just when you think that it's going to come back down and start to consolidate, it gets driven up higher. You can see here, I've uh, had a couple trend lines marked out for some breaks here, 283.43. Obviously, we destroyed that. Uh, 342.96. Obviously, we destroyed that. So I can take these off now. These are about a week old. Um, so where are we at? We're at $433 as a high. Absolutely insane. Okay. So you have to be careful playing this stock. This extended. Okay. We are very, very extended from the daily, uh, moving average here. You know, we 352, 370. Look, look for this thing on a bounce. Okay. So let's go over to the hourly chart. Let me zoom in so you can see this a little bit better here. Let's try to find this around 399, 400 on a bounce. Okay. If this wants to come in 20 points, I think this is going to be a good bounce area. You can see here, we're going to have a little bit of structure where we'll be able to bounce off this area. And obviously if we lose this 400 area, you just know to get out of the trade, right? So if we come back down here, we bounce off this 400 level and then we lose it to come down to 390. You know that this was acting as an area of support. Just get out of the trade and reevaluate at a later time. If Moderna doesn't want to play games and give us that bounce, the next bounce opportunity is going to be around 412 to about 408. This is a 10 day moving average here. If you can potentially get this around 48, 412, this would be a good area to bounce this stock to see if it can make a push towards those all time highs of 433. We do have earnings coming up on uh, the 5th. So tomorrow, guys, we have to be careful. This thing could dump on earnings. Okay. It could dump on earnings. Let me say that again. Did you guys see what they did to Amazon? Did you see what they did to Facebook? Okay. And these companies make great, 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 great cash flow. I don't know Moderna's cash flow situation. Okay. So let's just say they want to sell, they want to sell this thing off. If we start to lose this 400 area, it's coming down 391 and 371 very, very quickly. Okay. Quickly. So just be cautious. I'd be cautious on any pump tomorrow that comes up here to 430s. Let's say we open up 420, 430. I'd be careful buying in there because if this starts to slowly fade and you forgot that we have earnings tomorrow and they sell this thing off 100 points, you're going to be hurting. Okay, so just keep an eye on those levels. Try to bounce it off 400. Uh, you know, if they want to pull the market in tomorrow, let's, you know, we can bounce it off 372 but just be patient. Be careful when you're trading this stock. It's already super extended, okay? But I will see you guys all on the next video.